Paul. Give a lot of credit to Clemson. Uh, very good football team. Very well coached football team. Played their hearts out. Uh, made enough plays to win. They made one more play than we did to, to win the game. They're a very deserving team. They did a great job. Uh, great atmosphere. Great environment. Thank for our fans. It was, that's what I think of Doe Campbell. That's what I think of you know, the atmosphere, the environment, the things that went on. Fans were ready to play. Uh, give our kids great credit for competition. They played hard. Wanted to win, made plays at times, kept battling back, bumping back. In those games, it was a heavyweight fight. They're going to throw haymakers, we're going to throw haymakers. We kept going at each other. And we had an opportunity to, to either seal it back up or uh, win it at the end, and uh, we didn't get it done. And uh, we let that go. It was a good two-minute drive all the way down. We had a field goal position, had the ball 40 seconds, timeout, we're in great shape. We have uh, two uh, very costly motion penalties. And he got behind and got a sack and then, uh, you know, lost it out. But, Kid battled back, made a lot of great plays. I uh, missed the two-point conversion was critical. Thought we had that big throw, uh, come out of the route too quick. But uh, other than that, I mean, you know, they but still guys battled. They played hard, left their guts on the line. They did. They left them out there on the field. They played very hard, but we got to play better. Had uh, great opportunities in the game. Moved the ball well. Ran the ball. We threw the ball. You know, very good defense. The football team. They caused a lot of problems, a lot of blitzes. Uh, we were able to get some running game, got some passing game going at times. They did on us. They kept. We kept just. I mean, like I said, I had to wait for just kept going back and forth. And uh, unfortunately, we left some out there we would. And uh, very critical plays in the game. Like I said, looking here, Dalvin had another great game. Uh, DeAndre threw the ball well, got pounded, got hit a little bit. You saw a great step up by Naquan Nooney. Stepped up and really played big in the game. I told you I, I love the way he's been developing uh, in, the, in the game. And Kermit, some of those guys, and you know, they had good players. We had good players. And heck of a thing. But uh, fortunately, we came up short. Question. Should the uh, chop block call on? It's Sorry. ridiculous. It's not a chop. It was not a chop. And I'm going to tell you what. You hold coaches accountable, players accountable, hold the damn officials accountable. It's garbage. And then to call another penalty on the sideline is even more garbage. It's cowardly, gutless, and wrong. Now they can take it, find it, do whatever they want to do with it. That's a fact. Look at the film. It's ridiculous that they do it. That was a huge call in the game. Now, didn't it? Still had chances to win the game after that, but it's ridiculous. And the guy wasn't even in position to make it. Plus, it was 10 yards down the field, so the penalty should have been marked from there, not from the line of scrimmage. And it was targeting on 12 when he got hit in the belly. When he got knocked out, the crown of the helmet, right in the chest. We don't, he gets killed at Miami, we don't call it, gets killed here. Both of them. Bad. Real bad. What was his explanation to you about? Yeah, there ain't none. Well, we didn't miss it. You know, the typical rah, 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 zip, boom, ba, boo. <laughs> And it's, it's terrible. The guys' lives and careers on the line, and you're out there missing calls that obvious, it's ridiculous. Shouldn't be out there. Coach, the false start toward the end, too, when the clock was running, was that something else that you went Yeah, I, I mean, the clock's running. They're running the clock. We're, uh, we're out of bounds. Uh, nothing, it had nothing to do with that. I mean, still had the motion. Shouldn't have had the motion. But right. they hadn't even seen it until we saw it. The, the targeting on Trey Marshall, um, just talking I didn't think it was targeting. Mm -hmm. I still don't. I don't think he led. He was the side of his helmet. I didn't think he led with the crown. They review that, and they could review DeAndre, who's a quarterback, being exposed on a two-step deal. Don't call that. Whoever's in the booth is bad, too. Well, after a game like this, where he's had a chance to sit back and look at him, do you call the ACC? And You're daggone right I am. Send in the calls. They can take it any way they want. He does something like that. Do those calls? Do they overshadow what happened with you? No, 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 no. They, 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 they were critical calls in the game. And unless Clemson won the game, I give them all. That's not why we lost the game. It's just a shame that you could have changed and seen what happened if you call the game properly. <coughs> That's their job. Dude, but how how difficult is it to for the for the players? I mean, so many guys laid down the line. So they shouldn't be difficult. They got to go play for because we still even them, me, everybody still make enough mistakes. You played your guts out, but you got to play better. We still had opportunities to win the game and didn't get it done. It had a lot of opportunities. I mean, it's great. They played their hearts out. I have nothing to – I love our players. But we got to play smarter and better in some key situations. Because this, this is a really hell of a football team, and it's a shame because it's that close. It's that close, but you got to get over the hump. The, and that's what these next four games are going to do. You had a stretch, <coughs> a stretch defensively where it pretty much lights out, and then – Gave up a yeah, but that's, that's what happens when teams get momentum and they get urgency. Yeah, that's what you I mean. When you get, when you're like fighting, you're in a fight. Somebody starts whipping you, 
all of a sudden you get an urgency on your side and you start making plays. That's what sometimes, that's, and I don't mean this in any disrespect, I think that's why sometimes when it's going good and all, listen, the other team has an urgency too. That's what a competition's about. Just like us, they had us going for a quarter and a half, and all of a sudden, bam, we got on them and just bam, 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 and then they got us and we got them. That's what happens when two really good football teams with good players and, and teams are used to winning and get competitive. That's what happens. I mean, you find, it don't matter what's going on, you find a way to put that behind you and go make plays, and that's what happened. I mean, our defense played great. We give up some things. Uh, we got to get that fixed. I mean, we'll look at that. But it just their competition and their athletic ability and want to, too, and then ours coming back and theirs coming back, and that's, I mean, that's just what happens. I mean, it, I wish I could ever figure it out. I haven't in 29 years. <laughs> Jim, how tough is that with Marshall then when he's out? You're down effectively three starters. Oh, we are. Seconds. Big time. Big time. I mean, that's a critical call. I mean, so I, I still don't. I mean, I know he's getting that big guy's coming down. So when he hits him, he hits him inside his helmet, in my opinion, right here. He got his shoulder in there. What do you want? The guy's 235 pounds. Is it tough to tell how the young guys didn't take a look at the Yeah, it is. Tell me until you see. I mean, I don't want to, you know, know some mistakes, but I mean, we'll watch a film before I make that. I mean, I love the we're competitive spirit. I love our team. I really do. I think he's got to play smarter in key situations. Got to play better. And that's, you know, I got to get him to do it. That's me. <coughs> Did you, get, did you get the sense some of the pass protection breakdowns where guys get beat or were? were <coughs> I can't. I, I don't wait and see. At the end there, the one that was a, I thought it was a three or four man rush. On, on, you know, I, I don't. I don't know what happened. There was a couple guys just got beat. You know, I mean, they were right there and just got beaten. And I'll look at the again until I was saying on things until we see the film. Jim Bowen, how to feel somewhat in North Carolina in the sense that you guys took a lead late in the game and they were able to march back down the field and score the eventual game-winning touchdown? What is it about this team? Where it's had some tough luck at home. Yeah, you have to play a good team. You have good tough luck everywhere. You got to go make the plays. And then we had a chance to go back and score again. And we had down in the field goal range. We had two point the two point conversion. We convert that. That was, you know, we would have that would have been a tie. Stayed as a tie right there too. So, but just they play good team. You got to finish. <laughs> got to keep finishing. Talked about how Frank Swan just gets keep beat up game after game. Talk about his strength and being. <laughs> that's, that's what it, that's what you got to do. It's what you got to do. You got to stand there and take shots and. Uh, Hopefully we'll learn to protect him a little better as time goes on. Coach, you mentioned Dooney at the outset. He got a leading receiver to go out there and do what he did tonight. He's been really practicing. Fine. Last week he came on and practice and to accept the challenge. I had some meetings with him and to you know grow up and not be. And as I say, he is great, but just little things and silly things, and that's what he's got to get out of. Now he, he did that, and you see what he can do. I mean, the guy is the guy can be a tremendous, tremendous football player, and I love him. He's always going to get him going. What are your thoughts on Dow tonight? Of course, four. Dow standing. Yeah, he played out and played well. It's a big I mean, run. Is that about as good of a game as you've seen him play? No, oh, no, I've seen him play a lot of good ones. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not mean that. I'm not trying to be smart. I mean, really. I mean, that's just, you know, Dalvin, if he got space and he outran angles, you know, and <coughs> played really well. That was a shame because that was another big run. That was a 60 yard run they took back. They had the momentum going right there, too. Jimbo, what did you think of your defensive line play? They got after Watson all night. They did. helped going. They did. I mean, you know, again, I'll wait and we'll see it, but I mean, they. They had their moments. I mean, they really stopped him and played well, played physical. And then, of course, Clemson come back and made some plays. I mean, that's what good teams do. But our guys, our guys played hard, man. They played physical. They played hard. Again, we just got to learn to play those two or three critical plays a little better. One more. Coach McDalvin's runs were there. I ain't worried about that, though. I'll finish up here before I get in there. Coach McDalvin's runs, uh, you know, the two runs for 130, uh, 13 yards. Was it just a play calling, something that just opened up? or, or No, we, we saw they, they rotated second there, and we had checks with it, and we got in the right plays. And and, uh, you know, we, and then we got hats on the hat. Got a hat on the hat with the ball carrier, and they didn't have this, you know, they had to support the other way. We got checks into the calls, we got into the right guys. And things we saw at halftime, we thought we could get, and our quarterbacks did a nice job of getting in there. We had them called, and they left them or checked into them. And that long run by Freddie? Um, it was a check out, too. They had to run the other way, and they overloaded back to Dalvin the other side, and we had a nice check. And, and got it the other way. You know, that was really a big play by Sean. Come in the game for one play and go in there and make that check. That was very critical. I mean, a really big time play. That's something when I noticed. I don't want you, you know, to go unnoticed. That was a really big to Come off the bench like that and make a check. Your first play in was real critical. Jim, you, mentioned, you mentioned getting them to play better in critical situations. How do you do I mean, is experience, confidence? Experience and get them to do it. Just put them in it. Let them relax and do it. Yeah, but sorry, I didn't ask was there a common theme to the mall starts as to what? They jumped. I don't know why they jumped in. We need to get them fixed. It cost us. Big time. You think about a game like this, and it seems like it's some of the things you've seen before, whether it's poor pass protection, false starts, things like that. I mean, at what point, I mean, do you Well, some things on that side there, the guy, them guys are pretty good on that side too now. 
they were giving up about 280 yards a game. He could rush and doing some things. They're stemming and moving and doing some things in there on the on the pass rush and stuff. And guys are there's, there's some pretty good players in there. Finish your question. I'm sorry. No, no. All I was just gonna ask is, I mean, the false starts are inexcusable. Should never happen. Period. You know, and again, the conversation. Well, between those and then, of course, just the pass protection and other things you've seen throughout the year. I mean, how do you guys go about just further evaluating how to make eliminate those mistakes? I know one part of it for you is, hey, the teams you're playing, they're just good. That's gonna happen. No, but yeah, fundamentally, go back and do it. Quit doing it. Don't do it. Pride. We have noise. We've done concentration. Do everything. Can't, can't get anxious. Can't do it. Or, or you keep doing it, replace it. Do you see it in practice? No. Coach. What's the difference in getting in the game? I, if I knew, I'd fix it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. I mean, you're just anxious, jump. Sometimes guys say stuff in games. People do stuff. We say stuff in practice. We do that. We put noise on. We do everything on. Is it surprising me that this line was here last year? Yep, very. But you just got to do it better. Is it more of a... I think it's more of a mental thing, like across the line, they know that the opponent might get a little bit quicker than them, and they think. No, nah, I don't think it's that. I mean, because they play against guys every day. I mean, you play against Sweat and Body and all those guys every day. You block and you go. You know what I mean? You just gotta, gotta learn it. And, and it, I don't think it comes from a bad place. Guys wanting to get a jump, wanting to get the block, wanting to get a step. You know, thinking that guy. You know, what I mean, you just gotta relax and poise. At the end of the day, it's relaxed, poise, and experience usually does it. I thought we'd gotten out of it, but we're back to it. It's a Florida State, so there are no moral victories. But there what ain't do you no. Take, what do you take from this game moving forward? Yeah, we played hard. Like I told them down in the locker room, we played hard. I love you. We played great. Your heart, your soul. But again, we have to find ways to do some little things better. A couple of little things. And if we got to practice that way, you got to make it a priority. You got to go make your mind up that you're going to do it. I mean, there's no, again, when I, I love our players. They're good enough players. We got to go do it. We got to get them to play well at those critical times. And like I say, it hurts them. They were hurt big time because they put their heart and soul out there. But again, you'll, you'll go back and look. And there's a lot of little things in that film that they're going to kick themselves for. But that's the way it is when you play big games. And as a coach, we have to make sure we're doing the right things and coaching them too. Coach, how do you, how do you make that from deflating to encouraging for the rest of the stretch? Point blank. It, it is. It better be. Or if you go, I told them, they go out there deflated on Monday, don't come out here. I'm going to win <coughs> better come ready to win, go, win, go play four great games down the stretch. That's how you do it. You tell them. Then make them do it. Have you ever. Have you ever been flagged for arguing a call? No. I wasn't, I wasn't flagged. Oh, was it you? No, it wasn't on me. They called somebody else on our sideline. Said he said something to him. And he didn't. The guy was saying something to himself. And didn't say it to him. And to make that call at that time is ridiculous. After you knew he just blew a call. Hope everybody told him his name on TV so he got his name out there. <laughs> everybody was there to see him. Take it any way they want. Somebody needs to get something done. We good? Yeah. Thank you.